Mike with Techie B. We got a great show for you today. Um, a Virtue paintball show, pretty much. Got a couple things from Virtue we're going to um, uh, show you. One of the things today that we are going to do is I was lucky enough to get one of the first ever uh, Dangerous Power G3 boards uh, from Virtue, and I'm going to show you how to install it. We're going to test it out really quick today. Um, got a little um, something cool I'm going to share with you guys really quick, and it involves, well, not really mustard, but um, I picked up this tip at World Cup when I was over at the Virtue booth, and I wanted to share this with you. As you guys know, you know, like the um, the the new crowns that are out there, some of the favorite, you know, some of the favorite um, lids that are out there. I don't want to say speed feeds, but you know, one of the best speed feeds that are out there right now. And uh, a lot of people have this issue with the um, you know the little flaps kind of dangling down like this. So I'm going to zoom in here so you can see it. Um, so a lot of people have that issue, you know, kind of the flaps are kind of dangling down like this. But I picked up this tip when I was at the Virtue booth at World Cup. I'm going to show this to you really quick. Basically what you do is if you have like a jar of mustard or maybe even one of those little Pepsi bottles or something like that, just kind of take it, put it on there like that, put this in the fridge overnight, and the next morning take it off and you're good to go for about another month or two. So, um, you know, you don't have to stretch it up or anything like that, but uh, just kind of put it over the top of one of those little plastic Coke bottles or, you know, in this case, a little jar of mustard and uh, just put this in the fridge overnight and the next morning it's going to be, it's going to look like it's good as new. So that's one, um, one tip for the Virtue Crown users, if you're looking in a way to get those little prongs back to what it looked like when you bought it when it was brand new. Um, something else too that they're coming that they came out with is the on the crown is the first generation crown had this little miniature kind of a wing nut thumb screw. So I'll zoom in here again and show this to you. Um, but this little miniature wing nut thumb screw. And um, you know, basically you needed like elf fingers in order to get in there to tighten this. Well, the new generation is coming with uh, this little extended uh, screw here that makes it very easy to tighten, very easy to loosen. Um, it's also got a flat head on there too. So if you're looking to maybe upgrade the screw that comes on your crown, uh, give Virtue a call. I'll also put the picture up really quick so you guys can see this. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we are going to install and test out the new Virtue uh, G3 board. Now, as you guys know, I also sell the rendition magnet trigger kits for the G3, so I know how to take this apart really well, so I want to put this video out there really quick, test this out. I'm really excited about this. As you guys saw when I did the Dangerous Power G3 review back a while ago, the, um, you know, the one thing that was, you know, that was definitely lacking was the board. Well, there's two things that's happened at the same time. One, Virtue has released a nice micro switch board, which we're going to test out. And two, the price on the Dangerous Power G3s has come down in price. I believe they're starting out at about 430, 450 bucks. You can buy them now for about 300. Uh, there's even a couple coupons in the Tech PB forums and the online deal hunter where you can get them a little cheaper. But, um, uh, they're selling right now for 300 300 plus a hundred dollars for a virtue board and you've got yourself a solid shooter for 400 bucks dangerous power g3 is a smoking gun got a great regulator very simple one of the lightest guns that's on the market comes with a nice little barrel uh you know nice clamping feed neck a decent trigger a great asa and just a very simple very easy gun to work on so let's go ahead and uh i'm going to put the camera in here a little closer and we're going to start installing the dangerous power g3 board all right, so let's go ahead and get started on installing the Virtue board into the Dangerous Power G3. First thing you want to do is go ahead and remove your regulator. And let's go ahead and remove the grips. And now what we're going to do is let's just go ahead to get it out of the way is we're going to remove the little hook, the carrying hook that comes on the back of the gun. Okay, and we'll set that aside. And then what we'll do is let's start removing the two screws that hold the grip frame in place. Now when we get to the board, there's three screws that hold the board in place. Okay, hopefully you can see that. There is one, two, and three. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Here we go. And let's go ahead and unscrew these. You always want to do this 
uh, you know, at your house on a clean table with clean carpet. Uh, these screws are kind of small, so if one of these things end up rolling off your table and hitting the floor, uh, you definitely want that to happen at your house, not out at the field. Usually when it happens at the field, it just makes a little crater in the dirt and you'll never see your screw again, which has happened to me many times. Okay, now that we have the board out, uh, or the board uh, unscrewed, it's still held in place by the, the wire harnesses here. And what I recommend doing is don't try to pull the, the wire harnesses out of the board when it's down into the grip frame. If you, uh, when we pull the, um, pull the board out, it'll actually make it a little easier for us to grip it so that we don't have to worry about tearing any wires. So, okay, now we remove the screw and we remove the spring. Now let's go ahead and flip it over and let's take a look at our board. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna wanna make a note of uh, basically where the battery harness, the battery harness is at the bottom. So uh, we'll go ahead and remove the battery harness one first. Now the dangerous power plugs, I've found that these little guys are in there pretty snug. So you definitely want to take your time, you want to grab from the plastic to remove the plugs that are inside of the gun. And sometimes you know, you never really want to force this. You know, sometimes you can kind of grab the, the plastic with a little a pair of like needle nose pliers just to get a better grip. And you just want to wiggle these out slowly. There we go. And just got it started and then now I'm just pulling it out with my fingernail. So out comes the battery harness and we made a note that the battery harness was at the bottom. Now we can start working on the other two plugs. Okay. And basically what this is, the top one, the wide one is the eye wire. The middle one goes to the solenoid. And the bottom one is the battery. Now sometimes when you go to pull the plugs out, uh, you may end up taking the plastic shard with it. That's okay. If that happens, like, like what just happened here, the little plastic shard came off. Just uh, take a look at the orientation of the other two that are on the board and then just go in there and just poke it back down. Oh, there we go. So we have the old board out. Now what we're going to want to do is let's go ahead and take our virtue board out of the box. And we're going to take a look here and see what we got. So we've got the virtue board, little bag, uh, little instructions about the Uh, about the dwell and the uh, redefined uh, manual and a nice little virtue sticker in here. So let's go ahead and take the virtue board and like I told you the bottom was the um, the bottom was the battery harness so we'll go ahead and plug that in first. You always want to make sure that you get your orientation right. There's a groove that goes right down the middle of the harness and you want to use that groove to line up when you go and plug back in the harnesses. You always want to make sure you get the harness in correctly. I've seen people put these in backwards. So you just always want to take your time, inspect it before you plug it in. And let's go ahead and plug in the solenoid wire. There we go. Okay. Now this is going to be the hardest part because you're going from an optical to a micro switch. Um, what you have to do to slide this down there properly is you're gonna have to push the um, you're gonna have to push the uh, little guard here that goes up in front of the micro switch back in order to slide it down into the trigger frame. And there's just enough room for you to do that and slide it down. You gotta get it lined up just perfectly and then it slides down. And also you want to be very careful with the button that's on the back of the board here and put that in there first. So you want that, the button to go in first, then you want to slide the uh, micro switch down. So I got the button in, pressing against the membrane pad. I'm pressing back the metal flap on the switch. Okay, and now I can feel it starting to go down. And you may even take like a little Allen key and just make sure that it continues to stay pressed. And it is a little bit of a snug fit, so you do want to take your time. Now I'm using kind of like a little jewelry screwdriver 
to hold it down and boom there we go we're in okay so the board is in there now and now what we're going to want to do is let's go ahead and take the three board screws now I always recommend just getting the board screws in place first and then tightening them second. Sometimes if you tighten down that first screw, the other two board screws may not line up properly. So just put them in loose at first and then once all the board screws are in and everything's lined up perfectly, then go ahead and kind of snug them down. Okay. There we go. I'll tell you what, that is an absolutely perfect fit. Slid right in, no problem at all. All right, so our micro switch is in there, um, fits in there perfectly. Now what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and get our trigger. Now this is gonna be a little bit tricky because there is a trigger spring that you have to line up. So go ahead and put the trigger spring back in the socket. We can even do a little shameless plug here and say, you know, I got a little rendition magnet trigger kit. You buy that, you don't have to worry about dealing with this little dinky spring, which I'm going to be installing in this gun afterwards. So let's go ahead and get this spring lined back up and put back in. Now what we're going to do next is, is we are going to uh, Put the trigger in, but obviously now that we have a new board in here, we are going to have to readjust our trigger. Hey, it's Mike. And what we're going to do out here is we are going to shoot the Dangerous Power G3 with the Virtue board in it. Uh, we're going to shoot this in straight semi-auto. So hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, this is straight semi-auto. There's no ramping, no breakout, nothing like that. Um, just going to test it out in semi-auto. I can already feel how much better the micro switch feels inside this gun. It just feels great compared to the optical. So what I'm just going to do here is just pan out and shoot. This paint, I shot this paint this weekend and I'm lucky if I can get this out of my gun. It's extremely brittle paint, so probably the, the barrel is going to be coated in paint. Uh, it has nothing to do with the Virtue board, it just has to do with this is this hyper brittle paint that we got at World Cup. So let's go ahead and put the camera out so we can kind of see a little bit of a stream here. You guys know this backyard already. So let's go ahead and shoot this in semi-auto and see how it does. So, not too bad. It feels great. Um, feels good so far, so we keep shooting it. Alright, so we shot a little semi-auto. Obviously, I'm not Thomas Taylor, so I don't have wicked fast fingers. But let's go ahead and test it out now in the PSP. So I'll scroll out here. And we'll test it out in PSP. That wasn't really PSP 13 balls per second, but it was PSP uncapped. Um, very fast, very consistent. So let's go inside and All right, it so as you guys just saw, um, Virtue Board in the G3, very solid, very fast. Uh, this, I mean, this board completely, completely wakes up this gun. Let me tell you what, the Dangerous Power G3 is now dropping in price. They're selling them right now for like 300 bucks. Virtue has actually dropped the prices on their, um, their redefined boards. I think they're now selling for $105. You pick up a G3, you pick up a Virtue board, you got a solid shooting gun for under for just right around 400 bucks. Clamping feed net, good rig, decent barrel, amazing ASA, uh, average trigger, but now you got a Virtue board in it, one of the best boards on the market, and uh, and you just got a very very consistently fast um gun with with all the modes that you'll ever need so this is really cool really appreciate virtue give me a first crack at this go visit them at virtuepaintball.com give them a call uh pick up a g3 uh, the virtue g3 board or get in touch with your local retailer virtues in just about every single store go up to your local store tell them i found out that the new uh, g3 boards have been released uh, and order me one so thanks for tuning in Won't you believe it's just my